that bird in there. It doesn't like you being out here, rooster. That bird's angry with you. She wanted out first thing this morning, 4.30 this morning. Foggy. Welcome to the Dog Man. My name is Mike and it's a Monday morning. And it's very foggy out there if you haven't seen. This rooster wanted out immediately. And I put her bed out there. She's listening to all the birds watching the fog. You know, it's about, what is it? 55 degrees out there. It was perfect for a little old shaggy dog like herself to be out on the porch. Yeah, enjoying the whippoorwills and all the birds going. I told her, man, you got to enjoy all that peace and quiet while it lasts. Yeah, man, people are moving here like nuts. Good Lord, I was looking at some data this morning. 17,000 people alone last year moved here from Texas. Texas. So the big state, I think there's, yeah, 8,000 from California. Uh, Missouri. Uh, that's that one surprised me. What else? Yeah, well, Colorado's in there. You know, mostly they're coming from the west or the south. You know, bigger. I would say Dallas areas like that. They're trying to leave the city. You know, the scenario. Uh, and I've seen this in the past in my life. In the early '90s, I lived in. Uh, it was a wasn't a big area. St. George, Utah. Uh, newspaper company I worked for transferred me there for a while. And boy, you wouldn't believe it now. I mean, once people discover an area and just start coming, it's over. Prices go up, you know. So you guys know I have never been a fan of that. I am not promoting moving here. I tell people it's full. Uh, coming to buy land. Because what's happening... I got the hiccups. A lot of these co big companies and banks and whatever, they're buying up this land from these younger people. Uh, the older folks have died and left their land to the kids. They don't want it. So they're selling it. They're parceling it out. People from out of state are coming and buying it, starting from scratch, blah, blah, blah. And I don't like it. And I'll be the first to tell people, Arkansas weather sucks it sucks you ain't gonna like the weather here especially if you're moving from a warmer climate like california and you know it's windy when it ain't windy you got massive storms that'll scare the hell out of you that's bad here man now, i grew up in this part of the country so i'm used to it but there can be situations where you're scared to death and it's only getting worse with the tornadoes and it ain't going to get any better. Uh, I'm hoping being in the sandwiched in between two in the mountainous area, which our mountains aren't huge, you know, a couple thousand feet. Uh, probably one behind me, is, who knows, a thousand feet. And then the one in front of me, who about the same. You know, maybe enough to keep uh, tornadoes out, but I don't think it does because we've had... Wind shear comes straight through this road, and I mean, it just travels through like a, a tunnel. Uh, you've seen a couple years back, you can go watch and see what one of them storms did. It took out 11 of my trees, and they weren't little trees. Uh, it, it just took a big, huge cedar, three of them right in a row, leaned them down, knocked, just splintered one. Uh, so the, the weather here is no joke. The winters can be nasty uh one winter it rained it started raining this was 2019 i believe it started raining in december and it did not stop <laughs> until about august i ain't kidding you i know i was working at the ranch so i had to deal with it i was outside every day and it was frustrating and that's probably the second um second year like that with that kind of weather 
Um, so if you're moving here for the weather, <laughs> you're not going to like the weather, most chances are, you know. It's, it's nasty hot in the summer. Winters can be cold. I don't find them that cold because I've lived places like Minnesota and Iowa and, and Colorado. You know, I know what real cold weather is. And this winter was probably one of the most mild winters I've ever experienced here. And it's just been nice. But I've heard others complaining, oh, it was so cold. It was so cold. It wasn't cold here at all. You had a few cold snaps. Wait till we get a real cold one. You ain't going to like it then. So, yeah, I get a lot of heat, but I don't, I don't promote people moving here. I don't, I, I mean, you got to look at it from my viewpoint, you know. I found my little piece of paradise, and now when thousands of people are going to move in, you're going to change politics, you're going to change the prices, you're going to change the economy. It ruins it. People run everything when they come in bulk numbers. And you can't blame them for wanting to get out of those places. But you know what? They they made that place. You make your bed, you lay in it. You fix it. You don't run away from your problems. And they keep voting in idiots and morons. And then they give up. And then they run and hide. And that doesn't work. Oh, all right. That's my rant for the day. I didn't get anything done yesterday because, well, I live across the street from a church. And so I couldn't run any power tools, drag everything out. You know, it's usually 1230 in the afternoon before they all clear out. Then they come back at like 435 in the evening. And you can't do anything until they bring in the sheaves. Then you got a small window. And by then, man, hey, I'm not going to start a project at 1230 in the afternoon. So today we're going to get out there, drag everything out. I don't even have to go to town. So as soon as daylight hits, I'm out there. It's already warm enough to start working. I've got a lot of lumber that I've got a, that I've tore out that's got nails in it. And I've got to do some repairs to that. But that's what I need to frame my cabinets with. And then we'll get that going. Ooh, I'll be glad when all this is done, but, you know, it keeps me busy, gives me something to do, and improves on the property. So, sure is nice having that butcher. I mean, I've just got it set on there for now. Uh, I do got to go. Well, I don't have to go today, but I got to get some brackets. Uh, just maybe some L-type brackets to uh, fasten that top to the countertop so I don't get any wobbles anywhere. But it's pretty good fit. It sits there on their level. But and it's nice to have that extra. Just think of how many more dirty dishes I can stack up. You know, now that I have another whole counter. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna be. It's gonna be like two months before I gotta do dishes. Just keep buying more. You know, and then yeah, it's gonna be nice. So. Anyway, we've seen a little bit of growth on this channel. Yeah, added some new people, and the other channel's doing well. So I'm going to probably try to film today so I can get some video up on the other channel because it's, it's complaining. It doesn't have any new videos up there, and the channel's complaining to me. And we can't have that. All right. I need to go check on the rooster and start getting my tools out i got to get the air compressor out and run it and find, I hope I've got, that's why I need to get out there early to see if I've got uh, nails for the finish nailer. See if i got the right size nails. If not, I will have to run to town, pick up some of the things I need. Uh, basically, I just want to get the cabinets, I'm going to build the frames and then I'm going to mount the whole frame up on the wall. I didn't do that with the other ones. I just built it piece by piece on the wall. Uh, but this one is not going to be huge, so I can I can get it all framed up, take the frame, put it up on the wall, screw it into the wall, get it leveled. I'm going to get my laser level out so I can go exactly where I am with the other cabinets that are there, so I have the same, you know, so it matches. Uh, and then then basically all I have to do is get my half inch cedar or whatever I choose to use but it's probably going to be there's a big stack of half inch cedar in the new building and I'll use that to 
put the facing on the outside of the cabinets, put the trim, build the doors, uh, whatever I got to do. I, I don't, I'm not going to know. I mean, it's not something you can sit down and get a pencil and paper. I've never been one of them kind of people to sit and sketch it out and then build it. <laughs> Screw that. You just build it, man. And that way, if you don't like something, you can change it on the fly. You got to get your pencil eraser out. Well, I've got to change this spec. It's just not going to work for me. Take that paper that you did and do this. Throw it out. Plan. I, uh, people plan too much. And when you plan too much, your life is boring. All right. Have I said enough? I have. All right. I got to get to work, man. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you're new here, check out some of the other videos I got on this channel. Check out some of the videos I got on the other channel. If you're inclined, subscribe. Otherwise, keep watching. And we will see you tomorrow. Happy trails.